The way to deal with the ups and downs of life are to welcome them the same. Allow for ups and downs to be our teachers, to be the training ground for our mind. As hard as we try, no one escapes sickness and death. And it will even happen to everyone we know and love. But these natural processes, these cycles of change, these continuations of form to energy and energy to form are beautiful and essential to the process of life living on. All the joy that comes from birth exists in sickness and death as well because they are not separate among the process of life on this planet. If life could live forever, there would be no evolution because there would be no survival of the fittest. We are only here because of the journey of our ancestors, not just in your family, but our species and life as a whole. And so whatever the situation we're facing in our lives, good or bad, financial or medical, whether it's the best news or the worst news, simply be that witnessing presence, witnessing your emotions, witnessing your thoughts. You can do this for great news or bad news, hard times or great times, and it will keep you grounded so that you don't lose yourself in either emotional extreme. We've all heard those tragic stories of someone who gets into their favorite college or gets their dream job or a promotion and that night had a tragic accident while partying or celebrating because they let the good news carry them away. It's not just the hard times we go through, but even the good that we can bring some presence, some clarity, some stillness to. And when we can remain in that peaceful state and the inner joy that comes from that deep peace, we can remain in equanimity through good times and bad times. And no situation can disturb our inner peace and we can become that radiating center of peace through which whatever comes into our proximity gets touched by this peaceful radiating energy. Just as we are receptive to the energy other people carry with them, when we tap into that peace within us, it creates a powerful ripple effect all around us. And it is through either meditation or mindfulness or yoga or art or anything else that brings you into the present moment that taps into that inner peacefulness, that non-thinking space of calm serenity. It is these activities which will ground you and root you firmly into the present moment, into the inner peace you have within so that you can endure, survive, and thrive through any situation life throws our way.